probably my best month before was ten thousand dollars, like in squeezing every cent of it to get to ten thousand, maybe. And then uh, a month in, I you know I made in March alone, I made I think close to twenty thousand. And leading into April, in the first week of April, um, which you know I'm gonna produce close to seventeen thousand dollars in the first week of April. Uh, my name is John Martinta, and I'm the owner of Freshco Painters of Northwest Houston. Tell me a little bit about your business before you uh, you found us. I opened up my business about a year ago, franchise that I bought into, and um, I was just struggling with leads. Uh, my processes were okay, but uh, um, I didn't have a lead flow to to be able to to keep going, feed the beast. So I, I knew I had stuff that I need to improve and work on a lot. What was your average month in terms of revenue and, and profit during that time? Oh, so uh, not much. I mean, I've been in the painting industry for a long time, but working for other people since I opened my business, <laughs> I think my best month was $9,000 of, of revenue. Yeah. So not, not a lot. How did you feel about your business at that time? Man, it's one of those things that, that from time to time you think, what did I get myself into? Why did I choose to open up a business? Why now? Why, why me? Why I mean, I know that I do good work. Why, why can I get the work, you know? And, uh, um, so it was, it was rough. Yeah. You know, not having that validation dollar wise, money wise to, to say, Hey, no, you're doing the right thing. It's, it's, it's rough. It's a struggle. Yeah. What happened in your business that was like, okay, enough is enough. Something has to change. Well, the, 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 the savings account starts to, to, to get too close to zero and, you know, you're trying to, to, to do things yourself and, and, you know, comes to a point where this cannot keep going this way. Pretty soon, I'm not going to have money to not only keep the business open, but not to pay my own bills. Like stuff needs to change, yeah. you know, it needs to change quick. And so what did you think about the first time that you saw my ads? So when I saw the ads first, you know, it was very intriguing to me. What is this guy about? How can he be so sure of this guaranteed success that he's promising? And, and you know, so it, if nothing else, he made me look deeper into into uh, who you were and uh, what the program was about. Yeah. What made you decide to book a call with us? Through the research that I've done, I was more intrigued. There's there's must be something about this program that you know everybody's talking about and everybody has so much positive, you know, things to say about it. So um, you know, it's a free call. I said I have nothing to lose. You know, I'm, I'm already losing money. So you know, what, what's 30 minutes of my time now? So you get on the call. You talk to a member of my team, and you decide to join. So yep. you said that the bank account wasn't looking great. You didn't have a ton of flush cash to just spend. Yep. How did you overcome the fear of investing, you know, a pretty sizable amount in an online program? Well, it's, it's a two-part thing. First, you know, during the, the call, and it wasn't just once, I spoke to, to your team members, I think twice. I said, well, I'm not going to lose money. I'll get my money back. There's a money back guarantee. So that made me comfortable. The other part was, like I said before, I, I was getting to a point where I had no choice but to either spend this little money that I still have it in hopes of that, that if I'm going to, it's going to be an investment and I'm going to capitalize on it. Or I can just like keep doing stuff the same way and hold on to it for dear life and just watch it, you know, go away little by little. So I decided inside to, to, to buy the bullet and, uh, you know, take the risk and, and join the program. So you joined Blueprint. Tell me about your first couple of weeks. What was that like? As soon as I joined it, Anna who was a member of the team, reached out and I opened up basically my portal and I was able to watch the videos and get, get to learning right away. Even before like we had a call with the entire group. So I was like, okay, let's, now it's, let me see what this is about. Like, I think I, I, you know, the first portion of it that was available, I did it in like in, not in one sitting, but close to it. <laughs> you know, I just sat down and I, and I, I was like, come on, I need change quick. I need to do this stuff. I was pleasantly surprised, you know, like I've, I've done sales for a long time. I, I like the, the, the content of the, the, the stuff that's in there. And it goes right along with, with things that I know they're true. It was just like reinforcement and like newer um, ways of implementing it. And uh, um, very contemporary, very, very focused, very goal-driven to what I needed. You've been in the program for about a month now? I think yeah, five weeks, yeah, a little over a month. Okay. Yeah. So what's happened to your business in the last five weeks? Basically started right before the beginning of March, right? Right now we're at the very beginning of April. Three days before the end of April, I already had close to $20,000 book for the month of April. It, it exponentially grew my business. You know, I, I like I said, probably my best month before was $10,000, like in squeezing every cent of it to get to 10,000, maybe. And then uh, a month in, I, you know, I made in March alone, I made, I think close to 20,000. And leading into April, in the first week of April, um, which, you know, I'm going to produce 
close to $17,000 in the first week of April. Yeah. So you're going to produce double your best month ever in one week. Pretty much, yeah. In your sixth week of the program. Correct. Yeah. That's absolutely insane. In the first five weeks, how much total have you booked? In total, the, the first five weeks of the program, I think I'm close to like to 60K now. So you're not going to ask for a refund? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, cool. there's no refund for me. Let me disqualify from that refund. Tell me about how you feel about the future of your business now. I, the way I see it is the, the only way is up. You know, it's keep going, keep grinding, keep, you know, uh, like you mentioned in, in the trainings, something's working, double down. Now I'm not taking the foot off the gas. I'm keep, you know, keep doing stuff that's working, implementing other stuff that I haven't yet. Man, it makes me feel great. And, you know, like I said, I, I have, uh, I had set pretty lofty goals. Uh, for for myself and, and the company, I was at a point where I was like, mm, yeah, that's not happening. And now that has switched like completely. Now, not only I truly believe that I'm going to hit the goals that I set for my first year, but I'm revisiting what my three-year goal, five-year goals are because I think I'm going to blow that out of the, the water now. And so what would you say to someone who is, you know, where you were five weeks ago, staring down the barrel of a big investment, never invested in their business before, how, what, what would you say to them right now? It should make you afraid. You, you know, make an investment in your business, business it, you know, it should make you think twice. Absolutely. But it's completely worth it. So uh, if somebody's like on the fence about doing it, I, I absolutely vouch for, for going ahead and, and making an investment. I believe it's, it's worth it a lot. Well, appreciate that, man. You've been uh, incredible. It's only been five weeks. I can't even imagine where you're going to be in five months from now. Sky's the limit. And that's, that's the plan. And keep going. Yeah, right on. Thanks so much, Joe. Appreciate it, man. No problem. Thank you, man.